and welcome to another exciting episode of In Touch with a Legend. This is your favorite footballing show where we bring you Zimbabwe's footballing legends to come and share with you their footballing stories, their journey in football, and to share us their shenanigans, the happy moments, the sad moments, everything about their career in football. Today we have just swayed away a little bit from uh, former footballers. We have got a former referee here in the studio by public demand. Yes, you have been asking us to bring you either Felix Tangwarima or Wilfred Mukuna, and we managed to get hold of Mr. Wilfred Mukuna. He is here in the studio, veteran referee. He has refereed in Zimbabwe on the continent, World Cup, AFCON, Zimbabwe's Premier League, you name them, he has been there. He is here to share his story. Mr. Mukuna, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Alois, and uh, welcome viewers uh, to this very interesting uh, football, which is our life. Yeah, it's uh, very interesting. You know, a lot of people have been calling for you to come onto the show because what I was going to say, but then we also want to know when it all started, where were you born, how you grew up, and how did you get into refereeing? All that we want to know. Where were you born? I was born in Mtoko, Mtoko Hospital, to be precise. And, uh, you know, I'm from a family of, um, I say 15, but eventually those who say the real family was 14 because the other one died very, very young. Very young. And okay. um, uh, from there, I, I grew up at a farm, a small scale farm, mm. where my father owns one. And, um, you know, did my primary school at uh, Nyawondo, which is near. Uh, the farming area, which is, you know, those long, you know, small scale farmers, African farmers, they, they were called that time, during the Rhodesia time. And uh, uh, I went up there to until about maybe, you know, the, the, they call it lower primary school at that lower particular primary, time, yeah. yes. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, those days, there were a time when you could not maybe just get upper primary from where you started from. Then I shifted from there and went to Mtoko primary school, upper primary school. And then I proceeded and, uh, you know. Lower primary, grade one, two, three. Yeah, grade one, not Yangeriji. grade one. Yangeriji. They were sub A, sub B. Oh. <laughs> not, not your days where you grew yeah, up. No, yeah, I'm it was sub A, sub B, standard one, then standard two, then standard three. Do That's lower, lower primary. Do lower school. primary. Yeah, okay, then yes. from standard okay. four, standard five, standard six, this was the upper primary school. Okay, yes. so standard six and do grade seven, Mazan. No, it's further than grade seven. Oh, oh okay. Because you, you're yeah, talking about grade seven, <laughs> seven years, and our time, it was eight years at primary school. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. before eventually go to a, to a secondary school. From there, then I went to um, St. Ignatius here in Chishawasha. Okay. That's where I did my uh, secondary education uh, with the likes of, uh, you know, George Galloway, and I think he's related to this guy who's playing football now. Because he was a footballer, he was a sportsman then. George, George Galloway. George Galloway, yeah. Oh, he was a footballer. He was a footballer. I think he was uh, the, the, the elder brother of Guzzi. Guzzi, who eventually played for Acadia. You remember Guzzi? Yes, yes, Guzzi yes, Galloway, yes, yes. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Jerry Quarry and a number of guys like uh, Stephen Mjanja, who is now a gynecologist, I'm told. And, uh, you know, uh, Xavier Gadani. Just name a few. Yeah. Those are the people who were at school. Was those are the people I think may, most people would maybe well, know. No, yes. Yeah, and um, you know, um, being there was starting with from primary school. I wasn't a footballer, as it were. My sports, which I was, you know, getting involved in primary school, was basically, you know, um, athletics. Athletics. Yeah, the the the, 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 the hundred up. hundred meters, the yeah. two hundred meters, not a, a certain level, but you know, at primary school. The, Lower primary school, I was in the school team. Yes. Then when I went to upper primary school, it was those days you were actually, uh, you know, um, going to school with people who were already, maybe some of them shaving. <laughs> because because yeah, some would start early. Yeah, and it becomes some very, start very late. And it becomes very difficult. And that time, there were no, like you say, uh, age groups. We were just basically, you know, good open. Admit, yeah, open. Sometimes just say juniors and open. Yeah. Now it was, was very, very difficult, you know, to, to, to break into, but break at in, lower yes. primary, yeah, I was in the school team. Okay. Then upper primary, just watching others, you know, doing it was, you know, the very grown up people doing that. And yeah. when eventually I went to, 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 to high, I mean, to, 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 to high school, the secondary school, I broke into, you know, in swimming. And that was my, 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 uh, yeah, there I, I did quite so a lot. You, yeah. you basically were
Sportsman. I was a sportsman, yes. Sportsman, and yes. Uh, I'm saying just to take this opportunity, saying even my father was uh, uh, kind of athletic at that particular time. He was mm -hmm. doing cycling and racing at that particular time when we were young. I remember him, you know, doing some races and, you know, winning. Yes. And he had a bit of, a little bit of boxing as well, uh, uh, which was, it's actually still my passion. Did you, <laughs> do you play boxing? No, as no well? I, I didn't, I don't oh. play, but like, you know, to, oh, to watching, watch. To watch, watch yeah. Oh, okay, yes. Then um, when I left school, I came to Harare around maybe the 72s, uh, that's somewhere there. And uh, when I came into Harare, now looking for a job. And it was a difficult time, you know, that was Salisbury, not Harare, it was Salisbury yeah, then. Salisbury, yeah. yeah, and, uh, you know, I, yeah. you know, Took a while before I eventually got a job, uh, and uh, the job I got, um, lucky enough in the situation, I would say maybe this is a very important uh, area. I would talk about that. Yeah. Uh, you know, I had, um, you know, you know, James Jesse Makamba is a cousin. James Makamba. Yeah, he was already in broadcasting and, and doing that, so yeah. I went to stay with him. And um, no, actually, I'm the one who, who actually taught him how to drive. Actually, I got my license before him. Is that <laughs> very interesting? Yeah, yeah and even, interesting. even the wife, I, I, I eventually, you know, he taught, them to taught her to drive. Yeah, okay. and um, you know, at that time, I learned how to, you know, deal with music because that's my first job. It was a disc jockey. I was, uh, you know. You were a DJ. Uh, yes, I. Oh, really? <laughs> you, you were not born then, no, uh, you, you born were not yet, born, yes. and uh, mm. you know, I started, um, you know, learning how to, to to play discos, and you know, accompanying him because he was a top DJ that time. Yes. And uh, going to schools there, yeah, that's how when I learned the tricks of, you know, music, and I started yes. getting into music, and um, uh, eventually I got a job from a company which was doing advertising, and uh, it had a disco. So I used to move around in beer halls and, you know, schools and playing music, areas, playing, even playing in music. weddings, yeah. Playing music at the same time, advertising yeah. the company. And coincidentally, I'm talking about, you know, Lusengo, then he was called Sengo Marriott. He's uh, actually... Then at Marriott. Yeah, I played uh, for his, his wedding there in, uh, in Highfield sometimes. You were the DJ? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, funny that's enough, and I know we, we, when yeah. we meet, we kind of sometimes talk about this. And I was yeah. still a very young man then. And uh, you know, um, from there, I got involved into into radio. So what did the the Afro hairstyle DJs at that time used to have? Uh, yes, uh, like Afro. Yeah, yes, you know, well, Afros <laughs> and uh, you know the bare bottoms and yes. uh, the platform shoes. The platform shoes. <laughs> yes, and putting on velvet suits and that kind of thing. Yeah. That that's, uh, that was the yes. in thing that particular time. Yeah. Well, yeah, we got to call the, those shoes Burkamam. Yeah. Those platform shoes. S sometime I'll yeah. send you a, a photo of what we are talking about. Then maybe you can uh, deal with it. <laughs> and yeah. And uh, that, yeah, that, that was the time, future. and uh, you know, coincidentally, well, I say the company I was, you know, working for, they were very much interested in football, and uh, it happened that uh, you know, on 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 thing on 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 radio, they were advertising for people trying to get people to 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 be disc jockeys on on radio, yes. and they <coughs> put a competition. Uh, that competition you know, ran for about almost, I think, uh, th uh, almost um, uh, three months, six months, somewhere there. And uh, I won that because I had a background. Coach. Yeah, I, I had a background of, uh, you know, of being a disc jockey. Disc jockey and uh, it was called the Nessence Choice. And it was, I think, around uh, 79, 78, somewhere there. Then I won that uh, tournament. Uh, I mean, no, not tournament, as it were. Too much used in football. Yeah, no, no, I went that competition. competition. I went. I went that competition, and uh, that time five hundred dollars was worth a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I got five hundred dollars, and it was part of the eventually money I I, I I put down to to eventually get a, a property. Yes. And added some money to get a house in the low density then, and uh, that time it was you were not allowed to go there. So how did but, you go there? Well, it was uh, thing it was things were starting to to to, to, to turn up, turn around, and you know, um, quietly and secretly, and uh, you know, we eventually got a property. So around '78, when I got a property, you know, in the low density, Cranbourne to be specific, Cranbourne yes. there. Um, then my company I was working for, 
they came up with an idea. They said, this guy is one the the, 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 the nation choice as a disc jockey. Why don't we give him a, a radio program? Yes. That's how we actually radio program, you know, radio um, DJing started. And I got this 15-minute uh, 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 um, uh, sure. commercial show, and uh, it was involving sport. For they were, they liked a lot of sport, and uh, football in particular. And um, the, 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 there was a portion where football was talked about in that particular show. And we had the likes of uh, Tommy Ballantyne, if you remember, he used to be um, a teacher at St. Yeah. George's, but he was doing you know, freelancing for, 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 for the Herald then. Yeah. Then he would come in because he was uh, a journalist, kind of. And uh, he would talk about football, I would do the music and all whatever, the advertising for the company. And I started to get involved in sometimes when he was not able to travel, sometimes games would be in Blawayo or maybe he's away himself. Yeah. And he used to now say, okay, you can go and interview players. Those are times when the Gibson Homeras and uh, Kwashis were playing yeah. and, you know, that time the Tauros and, you know, the, 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 the Charles Sibanders and that. So, so you were transitioning as well from yeah. being a DJ, yes. you know, you're getting in, you know, kind of Juno, you know, you know, yeah. or whatever, <laughs> call it that way. Yeah. Yeah. Then, you know, we, I, I, I started interviewing people and slowly, you know, football started getting into me, but uh, I had a remote uh, admiration of football, uh, even at, 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 at primary and uh, high school. I remember some time when I was still at St. Ignatius, you know, the likes of um, David Mjineripi. Yes. Was, I think he was at school at Sita Harare or I feel secondary school somewhere there. They came to play us. Yes. And um, he scored the only goal there, a fantastic, I think almost a 40 or 50 meter drive at uh, St. Ignatius. Then, you know, these are things, memories which just living. Now, when I yeah. got <laughs> really involved in football that well, this yeah. is some of the things which is started and maybe helped me, me to come into, into refereeing. And actually, refereeing was not um, that I was looking forward, but maybe kind of accidental. Let me put it that way. Yeah, because you were now getting involved with footballers. Yes, and, and, and you know. Getting um, to watch matches. Yeah, and travel as far as Blawayo to get yeah. interviews and those kind of things. And, you know, you were, you were not that then yet playing yourself. Yeah. We had the the Matisse was and uh, the Shambos and them. And, yeah, and that, was, that, was, was, that, was so, that was so early. But uh, we were now trying to, uh, we were now following football at that time. Yes, that yes, now, yes. Yeah. And these guys, you know, the late Mangoras were good friends, was from Highfield and yeah. uh, Tauro was from Highfield. I used to know them outside football. Yeah. And Matisse, I used to work with a, a cousin of mine and they you know, used to know them as people before I calculate. So you were now around football. Yes. Basically, you were just around football. You knew. Yes. A lot of footballers, yeah. the, the time going, you are working with them, and yes, well, interviewing yes, them. Yes, yes, so, yes, yeah, yes. Okay, now I can see where yeah. it was. Yeah. And they started having other shows, people were maybe interested in the voice. You know, I remember those days, even uh, these guys who came to become DJs, it was not as simple as that. Who well, yeah. we'll just diverse a little bit. You had to have a voice test. And then once you pass that voice test, then we're able now to go on radio. It was not just as simple as we getting that. You wake you up one the morning. Voice for the radio. Yeah, one day you wake <laughs> up, then you become a disc jockey. It wasn't no, that it simple. No, it wasn't as simple as that. And, uh, you know, um, that was a time when we had uh, Dominic Mantisha, the late Dominic Mantisha, then running football, then teenies and that kind of thing. Yes. And we had DJs like uh, from the late uh, from Chamba and, you know, we had uh, the Ishmael Gadungures and the uh, late Uwarimbo Fana. Yeah. And even John Martindi, we worked together. John Martindi. And, uh, you know, uh, that time, you know, uh, Shamu had left radio, had gone out to the liberation struggle. And, okay. uh, you know, it opened up a bit for other DJs to come, DJs in. To come in. Yeah, Webster had gone out. So this is how we, 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 we I got involved into from transition to disc jockeying. That's the one which got me into football and liking football. Then eventually the transition came to become a referee. And, um, you know, if, if you want us to go into refereeing, we'll go into it. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm just, I'm just getting, in, I'm getting interested. So you were actually like quite popular as a DJ. No, so no. that was your first, uh, yes, your yes. first year, your first uh, yes, yes. And road to fame. Yeah, and when was we, was, uh, was DJ. Yeah, when, and then presenting. Yeah, if you look at DJs, you know they were kind of two uh, 
radio rather, not DJ, radios. Yeah. There were two types of fields. Uh, one for continuity, when we say continuity, those people will read news and eventually do this. Then there were the commercial. Okay. I was in the commercial sector, where commercial. advertising and that kind of thing. We didn't really work for, 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 for the broadcasting, working for a production for house. A production we house, okay. got these things recorded, then they are sent to, 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 to RBC, there, RBZ then. Uh, no, no, it's RB, uh, Digital Broadcasting Corporation, RBS, RB, oh. RBC. RBC. Yes, uh, Rarari Studios, very small it was that particular time. I can imagine. Yeah, now it's, <laughs> it was a very small uh, uh, mm. place and, uh, and eventually when Independence came, I started doing radio shows as well, which went to Pocket Hills and that kind of thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so, okay, so what then uh, got you into refereeing. I know now you were involved with the footballers, you were interviewing them, hanging out with them as well. Yeah, so I, what made you decide? Why didn't you want to play? Uh, playing, I wasn't a very good footballer, let me put it. I yeah. was playing, you know, the social football, you know, and, uh, you know, I wasn't a uh, thing. But when eventually I got into, uh, started working, I left DJing now, and I went into assurance, you know, sales. Yeah. And there was um, a league for assurance, assurance league for that particular company I was working on. Was it got a, they had a lot of departments. Oh, okay. I started playing football there, and uh, you know, eventually we got uh, Masube. You know, I remember Masube was used to play for for, for Dynamos, not very much, but he was a left back. Yeah. We we got him as our coach. Then I started, you know, he put me from right back to left back, which I started learning how to use my left foot yeah. and we played quite well and uh, you know that helped the, the, the love of football to grow in me yes then one day we were watching uh, a, a friendly um, you know um, at one of the teams we were playing a friendly we watched there and they were saying ah oh, this is rubbish and uh, this is the refereeing went then yeah then, <laughs> then among us there where we are sitting there was uh, the late uh, Kosana Majoni and, and he, he knew me because of um, <laughs> DJing and DJing, that. And, you know, yeah, says, oh, yeah, you, 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 you well, think yes. you can do better? I said, ah, oh, do find much better. Also, I was with Felix then. Uh, Tangarima, we're sitting together, we're friends. Oh, you were actually friends with you, Felix? Tangarima. Yeah, oh, we, we knew you each other. So you we, were sitting watching together? Yeah, and they said, you know, we're... Was he a referee then? No, no, no. Not no. yet as well? No, we were very oh. voiceless and they say, oh, that is rubbish. And, but his, okay. his, his elder brother, uh, Mr. Wizin Mutare, was a referee then. Oh, okay. He says, you people come down. Yeah, do you think you can do better? I says, yeah, much better than this. He says, okay, come, we want to, 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 to get you into, into refereeing. And I said, ah, let's give it a try because we, we love football. Yeah. And referees go into football for, for, for free. Let's, let's get in there. And, uh, you know, Felix had a little bit of knowledge because of, of his brother. His brother. Yes. Then we got involved, went to Majoni's place in Glenview when Glenview was starting. And uh, that's where we had our lessons there. And for two weeks, we just took two weeks. And we wrote an examination at, uh, was it Mtasa or something in Ifield? Okay. Yeah, at the, the same time, and, uh, you know, uh, Brighton Mzamiri and uh, Lao Mumarange and Chiza. You all went in at the we same just time? Met, we you just met. Yeah, oh, yeah we, just met, we just met there. We, yeah. know, we just met there. We, we, yeah. we, did, we, did, we, did, we didn't know each other. Yes. But me and Felix, we know we were friends yeah, long we friends, before yeah. that. Uh, obviously, Felix is a bit, a uh, couple of years younger than me. Yes. But uh, at the time when I met him, he wasn't married. And now I had about three children then. And yes. that's when he eventually got married. Um, and. Uh, once we did that, we said, ah, now we got our passport for going into football. So let's relax and we got those uh, cards when you, you, you are, you know, a referee. Now a referee. Yeah, and we, we passed the first time. And, so uh, what division, which division did you start with? You, were there divisions or the uh, anti-Mazwan Gune elites, yeah. lower division? That time it started from actually, if you ask, you know, the, the, the people who were there, it started actually to, to from, um, Level five, uh, what was called, what, what did they call, uh, you know, from five, four, six, um, f uh, four, three, two, two uh, divisions. Yeah. Then, then the one year was the top. One, no, 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 no. Uh, there was, uh, yeah, division one, yeah, there was, uh, well, division one was called something, and uh, before, yeah, the, yeah, before it became Super League. Yeah. And it, it was division one, then it came to Super League. To Super League. Yeah. Super League is what we know that was uh, PSL. That's how it was. That's so you started in 
Yeah, you had to in, study. In, in Division 5? Yeah, when you were a referee, you started as uh, a class 4. Class 4. Yeah. So you were now licensed as a class 4 yeah, referee? And, yeah, but we were, we were, our idea was not to, 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 to referee, it was just to get into football. Okay. So, so, but eventually, you know, this one I'm telling you, but I've told people some time back, uh, Felix had the ambition one to 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 to, to get involved, but he was he was afraid. What what that one? Felix was afraid. <laughs> so we wanna go for a break. We just wanna go for a break just now, and we want to hear why Felix was afraid and how you started refereeing your first match. We want to know about your first match as a referee. Guys, we're just going to go for a break. This is quite interesting. Wilfred Mukuna in the house. He's telling us about his life story, his football career, football career in refereeing, that is, and we are enjoying it. Don't move away. We want to hear more about it. We heard about Felix Tangoarima, the popular referee as well. We want to know why he was afraid, and we also want to know the path where he ended up in. We still have segment two, segment three to go. So don't go away. We'll be back in a minute. Cheers. Branch or shop online at www.nyarazo.co.zw and buy your Sawira away. Lots and lots of prizes to be won. Nyarazo, Sawira Mukuru. Ungane, Omkulu. My name is Yvonne Mangonda, Marketing and Communications Manager for Dynamos. And being part of the Nyarazo family has helped the club a lot because they obviously bought a bus for the team. And every time we travel to matches as far as Wange, Chiredzi, Motare, they provide fuel for our team. God knows Murgira, Dynamo's football club player. It's a privilege working with Nyarazo. Nyarazo bought us a bus which we use for our training and all our matches. My name is Apia Sylvester from Ghana, Dynamo's FC football player. I'm happy to be part of the Scope Park Plan. It covers unlimited members of your family. My name is Emmanuel Jalai, Dynamo's FC player. Make sure you join Nyarazo a scopic plan because if you join Nyarazo scopic plan, you get grocery allowance on your funeral. My name is Albert Yonde, Dynamo's football club player from Cameroon. It's always good to have company like Nyarazo supporting us. When you get the Scope plan, you're also supporting Dynamo's football club. My name is Sujana Muringai, Dynamo's football player. Get the Nyarazo Scope plan to cover your family and support Dynamo's football club. I am Nyarazo Dia, Dynamo's football club goalkeeper. When you get the Nyarazo Scope plan, all the children under the age of 23 are covered for free. So as Dynamos, we're very excited and we're also very grateful to Nyarazo for what they've done for the club. But we're also grateful to every Dynamo supporter that is part of the Nyarazo Score Pack plan. And you can also make your contribution. Join the Nyarazo Score Pack plan today. Join the Score Pack plan today. 
Get the Nyarazoscopic plan today. Get the Nyarazoscopic plan today. in the house before we went for the break he was telling us how Felix Tangorima was afraid to referee in the first match yeah mm. uh, Tell us. being afraid he, he didn't know what what to do because <coughs> that particular time that era uh, referees will get quite uh, some beating because you start from division five and maybe you only we were not uh, like the three of us when we the assistants and that you it was a one-man game one man band, we used to call it. You are the referee, you, you run the game on your own. And you're starting from where they were not even policemen, you're starting from, you know, almost like amateur at that, that, that particular time. Mm. And uh, you, 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 you know now he was afraid, but we would hear stories of uh, referees getting a hiding sometime. And uh, he said, now how, how, how would we start this? And uh, he, up to his mind there, he was uh, crafting something which I didn't know. Then he went uh, to see for for the Zifa. I don't know what happened. Mm. And uh, I, he, told, he came to me and said, "No, you've been given a match." I said, oh, "Given a match? I didn't. I didn't ask for a match. Said, it was you. you we used to phone Zifa to get a match. Oh, you had to phone them. They didn't phone you. No, no. You used to to, to phone and say, "Do I have okay. a match?" Was all the names were given to 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 to, to Zifa. Then you ask. Uh, when you, you phone, they will say, ah, okay, there's a game here, now we can put Alois here, or we can put so, so, oh, so. Okay. Then Felix uh, phoned and pretended to be me. <laughs> so, yeah. so that he could me, use me as a sacrificial lamp and uh, get experiment on how it will, it will work. And says, you are given a game. And then I said, how can I be given a game when I first said, oh, and now they, they are very serious. They say, if you don't do this, they will... Take away, take, the, take the, away the, license. the license, and I said, ah, okay, but I don't have a university, don't worry, I've got one. He had one in the raffle, he was going to, 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 to the referees' uh, uh, meetings, I wasn't going, he was going, and he happened to, 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 to win a raffle of uh, a, a, a refereeing uniform, yeah. so he had one. And uh, one thing I had is uh, a pair of boots, boots I used to play, you know. Uh, <laughs> Your social social. Yeah, the, the, the boots is whatever you call yeah. it now, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, you know, they got big league, you know, those shoes were called big, yeah, league, uh, the big league at that time, yeah. yeah. Those, um, I got that and uh, no stockings, so I had to go with my uh, <laughs> normal socks. <laughs> And it was in Highfield, uh, Highfield uh, uh, Community School there near um, Wirover Road there. Yeah. And there was, I think, a team called... Who was playing? I think VW, Stri I mean, v v w Strikers or some Vesas, Vesa was it? Um, there's some construction company, I can't quite remember. And I went there and, uh, you know, driving my, you know, my small 120Y then, uh, the, the car. Yeah. Uh, it was around 1984, I think, I know, yeah, 19, 1984, somewhere there. Then I went there and I uh, started the match and, uh, you know, you know, there's incidents which happened there. I don't want to talk about it, but Felix knows a little bit about it and, uh, you Just know. give us a little bit of uh, No, 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 <laughs> we will we'll not talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, it's, okay. It was for public consumption. No, okay. Yeah, but, All you right. know, we eventually game ended, it, it finished. And I got, uh, you know. How did you do? Uh, I fared uh, fairly, fairly well, but not too well when I'm looking at you the standards. Yeah. Standards when I am now here, as uh, yeah. I'm looking at it, and uh, you know, there were some but things. But yeah, it was the beginning. Yeah, there were some so. things there which were not supposed to have happened, which happened, and uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Which, which I should have taken action of, but anyway, it didn't happen. And, uh, let, let's not talk about <laughs> it. Then when I finished, I went home, and you know. We, we didn't have cell phones with, uh, you know, landlines. Yeah, uh, land and he phones, and uh, around uh, six, he uh, knew that I had gone. He phones, yeah, I, I, I said, yeah, I finished the game. He said, you finished the game? Said, yeah. See, we're not we're beaten up, I said, beaten up by hey, you. Because that way, Romer, if we yeah. Have, if we <laughs> but yeah, but one good thing about myself from yeah. there, from young, I was never afraid. 
Okay. I was never afraid of anything, and up to now I'm not afraid of any given situation. Yeah. Uh, but I was not like maybe a person who would start problems, I, no. But I was not just afraid. I had, uh, you know, courage for doing anything, and uh, nothing was uh, impossible. As I looked at it, everything was a challenge to me. And I did that, and I uh, finished, and they said, ah, you finished it? And I said, ah, I'm not going back again to referee. <laughs> Then he started going, he started going, he said, oh, I've done the game, I've done the game, and he started, actually he was confirming for me when I was not confirming, mm -hmm. and forcing me with the threat of saying, if you don't do this, they will take away the license. Then we eventually got to, to, to like refereeing and that, but to tell you the truth, that was the start of, I could say, good refereeing in, in terms of, uh, you know, because now we were kind of putting pressures on the people who were in, then referees then. Yeah. And we came up with quite a bit of uh, a push. And, uh, it, you know, from class four to, to, to class three, it was automatic. Then from there up to, to the top, you had to go, you know. Yeah, how, did, how, 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 how did you get promoted? When did you know that, no, this is the time to get promoted? Or they will let you know, or they write an exam, or they just assess you while you are refereeing, mm. then they will call you in and say, you are now getting into the next level. How did, how did it? There were, were assessment, but from class one and class four, mm. it was automatic, you get into class three. It okay. was, you just spend a year in class. Oh class four. yeah, you know when you don't go eat out in class four, then then, the next then, year then, you then from oh, three okay. upwards there were some regulations as far as the, you know the 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 the, 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 the referees association. Well, there was the referees association, okay. which was a separate body, yeah. and uh, it had regulations. Sometimes three years in this one, but uh, you know, funny enough, I must tell you that we didn't spend even. Uh, the then chairman of, of ZIFA, who was the chairman of the referees uh, association, the referees committee as well, uh, I think he, he smelled or he saw potential. Who was, who was that? Uh, the, the late Nelson Chiru. Nelson Chiru. Okay. Yeah, yeah, then he just uh, pushed us through there with a little bit of resistance from the people who are now uh, seasoned referees, but no. Said, I'm I'm no go now. take them in. And, uh, you know, Within maybe three, four years, they uh, acquired you know FIFA FIFA referring badge. How did you? How did that happen? He pushed, he pushed us through, and I remember I think around 86, 86, 87. Yeah, how do you get that one? The the, the, the FIFA well, badge. The thing is, uh, Mr. Chirwa just pushed us through, and he said there's seed potential. Yeah. Then I write a letter to to FIFA. No, 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 no. What, what I'll, I'll get to the FIFA situation. I'm saying getting promoted into class two, three. Class oh yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, you know, maybe halfway down the line, six months we were already in the other class. Was of, I think the performance we were, we were exhibiting. Yeah, class yeah. I would, uh, I think he had seen yes. potential, I, yes. which which I think he, he had an eye for 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 he was good correct. reference. Yeah, he yes, was correct. Then he yes. went on to be top top reference. Yeah, then he 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 he. Tr I was always the 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 the, the, uh, the experiment, and he threw me into, <laughs> into a match, and that yeah. was the animals were playing a friendly with that. Uh, Botswana Township Rollers mm -hmm. and Banabambo then were, you know, starting, uh, coming up then. Yes. And it was at Gonzura Stadium and there was uh, an assistant referee and they were trying to, to, to get uh, the late Guatizo into FIFA. Oh, okay. So they wanted to test him and see in that particular match. And there I was, uh, thrown in the Vietnam side and um, Gonzura, you know how close it is yeah. with the spectators, but, the jam, jam. Mm. Uh, but me, I was always like an elephant, I didn't fear nothing. I went there, splendid job, done, finished. Then the next thing, this one now was uh, accidental. Let me put it that way. Okay. In the sense that I was now, they're seeing the potential that says, okay, let's give the amount to, to, to Nkatazo for another match. It was, uh, I think it was Highlanders. The Highlanders had come to play Dynamos. I think Dynamos or Caps at, uh, at, at, at Faro Stadium, yeah. yeah. They'd come to play on a, on a, on a, on a, on a, on a Saturday, and uh, Florida Wanderers were touring the country, and they had to play Highlanders at uh, the National Sports Stadium before they returned to, to, to Blaue. 
And uh, I was put in there as a first assistant, Felix, the second assistant in that particular match. And Kataso was. The, 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 but it was a solid the, lineup, the, a strong lineup. For yeah, the, but it wasn't a yeah. strong lineup. Was, we were. We were still juniors. We were, were yes. unknown. Uh, yes. Let me put it that way. Yeah. But in the, in the refereeing fraternity, they started to, to, to feel the vibes. And uh, some, you know, elder or maybe senior referees were now a bit jealousy. And they were, you know, starting members were just, ah, they're being favored. You know? But so wait a minute. So in refereeing at that time, it was more like you started as a linesman first. Not as a linesman. No, no, no. It, you, I, get to the same. you did all that. Oh, okay. it, it wasn't specialized as we are now that yeah. you know you become an assistant referee or you become a referee middleman and that. Kind. Yeah, but they wanted you to be an all rounder. It was all round. Yeah. Okay. You were. You, you could be. You know, appointed anyway. Then uh, what happened is I, I went um, to that stadium. Hey, I don't want to talk about this was, uh, you, you know, Kataza is my brother and uh, something happened and he says, nah, I'm not able, uh, I'm not. something happened. <laughs> he says, I, I don't want to, I don't what, want what, to. What, what, what happened? Hey, he, he, he was a big man in football then. The, big, yeah. the referee says, no, 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 I'm not taking, but well, go there these ways. Mm. He said, yeah, he, 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 take it, take it, take it. He didn't even, even come to the stadium without a uniform. So he was trying to get one of the, 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 the uniforms we had. It was too small for him. And then you know, I said, ah, come on, go and go and, and referee. And I went in there. That was Islanders versus Furida Wanderers. Yeah. Mm. In the center now? Uh, in the center, yes. And Felix become, became the first assistant. They would look for somebody. I thought the chief as much guys were the late. Who was put as a... The, you didn't panic? No, no, no. I told the hours. Uh, mm -hmm. These mm -hmm. things... Uh, the yeah. elephant. <laughs> I went yeah. in there and uh, wonderful game. Yeah. And the, 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 the irony of it is uh, the previous game at, 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 at Rufaro that time mm -hmm. when Islanders were playing. I'm not too sure whether the Dynamos or, or Caps were playing. They had a problem there with, uh, with the referee. Mm. Actually, uh, the irony again is the person who instructed us who had a problem at Rufaro Stadium, uh, the, the late uh, Kosana Majoni. And uh, these people from Zambia and Fulila Wanderers were watching. And after the match, they said, but why were they keeping good referees like this and gave, gave them, gave, uh, gave this, t this team uh, referees who were not too good? Because yeah. there's an incident which happened which was not too good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, but yeah. It, it came in the papers. If you research, you'll find what, what happened. It's, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, then I... <sighs> They've come finished and uh, they said, yeah, this is good referee. He said, should they put people like you to, to refer? These are the Zambians, you know? Yeah. Then from there, things started happening. Right? Now everybody knew you Ooh, now. God you pushed it. Uh, God pushed yeah. and uh, experiment again. That I think it was 1988. Yeah. Was put in to do an international game in Swaziland, the Somsolo Stadium. Kataso no, in the middle. No, now, now you, you were now on the, on the calf panel? No, 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 no. I was, at, I, was, I, was at, I, was at, I tell, I told you that uh, Chirwa was in charge of everything. He was the big man. Yes. He, he, and he, was at, he, was, he was at calf as well. Oh, okay. In the referee's committee. So that time you, you, you would get an appointment as a country that this country oh, must yeah. give, give referees to, to, to do a match in oh, yes. Swaziland. No, yeah, it, it yes. wasn't, oh, it wasn't, it like wasn't direct appointment yes. as it were now. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they all, all, all only appoint the center man. Then the two assistants will be appointed by the, 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 the football, football association. Oh, okay. By football association. I was put in there with um, Gwatizo as the first assistant, the second assistant. It was uh, Swaziland were playing Tanzania. And they were two, the, Tanzania was a good team then, that particular time. Yeah. And I went to, that was my first match in uh, 1988 uh, as an inter international. And uh, an, exper was, yeah. an experiment again. How did that go? Did you, did you travel out of the country yet? No, no, that was that 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 your first time. That, was, that was my first time to go out of the country. Uh, I can referee. imagine, yeah. bumps, everything. No, 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 no. No, the elephant doesn't have good bumps. What, what, what <laughs> I'm saying, what uh, gave me that is the things, what the, 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 the senior referees were talking about, oh, these guys, uh, these, these, these guys, 
Let me go back a little bit. And uh, when we were locally here, before I went to, to Swaziland, um, I think by accident, for the things were happening, I, don't, I, I can't understand it. Well, I was appointed then, was I'd moved into to Bindura to do retail management, and I was out of Ferrari. Yeah. Uh, now, people knew that I could be used in the, in the, in the, in the, in the top league. And I was appointed as a, as a, as a, as a, as a, as what you call a linesman. We used to call them linesmen. Linesman, then. Yeah, yeah, back in, then, yes. That was in Kadoma. That was, um, I think, um, yeah, it was uh, Rio Tinto versus uh, Black Aces. Came and Mota. Came and Mota, and there was a guy called late, is, is late now, Martinia, Dan Martinia. Dan Martinia. He was then the, the referee for, for the center referee. And that time, you know, people were no. Some way we did. Some of the senior referees were involving in buzzer uh, buzzer uh, things, and there was more money at buzzer than at uh, the, 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 the the national league. Is it? So he was doing a, a final. I eventually lent, but I didn't know that time. I came in. I waited for him. Was I the car? He didn't have a car. I waited for him. Where Dynamos used to have a shop there in uh, Julius Nyerere. Yes. That's where we said we were going to meet. I waited there, and I find time now is almost getting to one o'clock. And the game is starting at three o'clock to come in. What I said, no. And I passed through Felix Tangawari, he was on the road going there. I said, to told, look, this is what has happened. I'm gone. If anything happened, I just wanted to bear witness that this is the time I left Arari. Yes. Then I left and went and got to come in motor 10 minutes before the, 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 the match kicked well, off. Yeah. I thought maybe he'd run away from me. I don't know what happened. We got there, I says, there's the other guy who was supposed to be first assistant then, first uh, in a linesman, was waiting by the gate. He was bewildered as well. He was he also worried. Where are these guys? Then yeah. I go there and uh, you know he says, oh, this is, this is, so you are the one coming? I said, because well, he didn't know me. And I said, yes, Martina, yes. says, no, there's nobody. This quickly we went to the dressing room. Now what do we do? You were the yeah. first person. You were supposed to be the first person. He says, no, I, I think he had issues with uh, John Rugg. And oh. uh, Rio Tinto was, he was so from, he from, from that town. He didn't want to be in the center. So he no, I said, no, OK, no, no problem. The elephant can try. Yeah, they, yeah they, okay. go in there and then deal with the things. Yeah. So I got him there. I said, what do we do? He says, no. Okay, we got a, a class three referee who was around. He got uh, uniforms there. We gave him and says, look, if you are not sure, it's just flag. lift your flag and yeah. tell me if he's crossed the line or whatever it is, I'll take the decision. That was for, for, for the, the you know class three. Uh, class three yeah. yeah. And I don't even remember his name. And uh, the other gun was in Nandara. I don't know if he's late or still. He was in my, in, 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 in Kadom. Then the game went on. And uh, coincidentally, Charles Mabika was doing some correspondence or something, because he was working for the Herald. Yeah. But he had gone there to, to report to you. Report he was in printing that time. You know, he wasn't in, in, in wasn't journalism. In no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. So he, he was sent there to, to, to cover the match. And, uh, so Charles also st started to print. He started, he didn't start He was in the printing, oh, organizing okay. printing. Quite yeah, organizing printing. And, and uh, not working as a printer or whatever it is. I don't know, lithographer, or whatever. Yeah, like a called. reporter or something. He wasn't a reporter. So because he was working for the Herald, sometimes there was a shortage of people to cover matches. So oh, he so, used, used so to. Like yeah, freelancing. He was freelancing, OK. Oh, OK. Then he <laughs> covered that match. I didn't know him. I know I knew him as a, as a person, but uh, because, uh, you know, we, we were meeting and meeting some friends. He was friends to, 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 to think to um, Stanford Mutizwa. Yeah. And I said, you know, Stanford Mutizwa used to work with a, a cousin. With a cousin, yeah. Yeah, so know. that's how we, we can actually, you know, know each other. And it went very, very well. And uh, that's the first time I sent off, the first player I sent off in, in, in Premier League yeah. was uh, Shinginya Mazao. Ah, from essence. Yeah, from I don't know if he's yeah. late or still alive. Yeah, That's was, the record. Yeah, well, what had happened? What had happened <laughs> yeah, is, you know, uh, the ball had gone out for for a goal kick, and they were trailing. And Kwashi was the coach for essence. For essence, yeah. Yeah, and they were trailing, and uh, the ball. There were some boys. They were not ball boys. That were, you know, was their team was, you know, in front. They were playing around the ball there for throwing it out into the field for it to be played as a goal kick, and Shinginyama Joe went over there to. Kicked that year, small ball, that small boy. outside oh, there and took the ball and come. The moment he came to place the ball, he got his red card, which is the law. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, gave, I showed him the, the, the red card. And what went. did he do? What was his reaction? What did he do? Surprise. Was uh, yeah. that time maybe 
players didn't know much about uh, the laws, eh? the but laws, we, yeah. we knew what to suppose they sent him off and play it, play it, play it. But he took it well? Well, he had no option, he was, uh, was in charge <laughs> as a referee. Yeah. yeah, some players, you, you know, when yeah. you give a red card, you uh, protest. No, and no, they, no. Yeah, when yeah. they look at the board language, me, I said I wasn't afraid, and I wasn't very short, as you can see. I was, uh, you know, yeah, you were imp imposing yeah, as well. Yeah, <laughs> board language, they saw, yeah. yeah, we don't play with these guys and that kind of thing. And, you know, Shingo was shortish about your, yeah. your height, that kind. Yeah, then after the match, Kwashi rushed in and uh, was coming in to to me to, to uh, Mr. Referee nicely. What happened to my player? Why did you send my player? Mm. Then there was uh, Joseph Zulu. He was playing for for for, for Rio Tinto. Yeah. He came and said the referee was right. That guy went and kicked that man. And if he kicked you, 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 his coach, he was still going to be sent off. They answered each other. I didn't even get involved. Yeah. So Zulu got involved and, and he answered that. Yeah. When I came back the following day, that was a Sunday, the Sunday mail was full of... And there was another incident at Rufaro Stadium, which didn't go well, and... Uh, what was in the Sunday mail? Said, we have never seen something like this. We hope that our senior referees would have watched this game and see what was happening. And John Rugg wrote a letter to Zifa yeah. and said, oh, we are prepared as a team, yeah. even if we're going to play away, to foot the bill of this kind of refereeing. So that we, so we, that we, we have a fair, good fair match. Yeah. Yes. That's what, the, the letter is still there. That was good. Yeah, and if you ask uh, Gumede, he was uh, vice chairman then, you know, yeah. you to tell you about this. About the, about the letter. Yeah, then this is what has happened. That's what started the thing. And I think people started noticing, say, ah, Zifa and uh, Chiru said, I was telling you about this thing. Let's try him in Harare. And that very second week, I was given Dynamos versus Acadia. You know what it was in Rufa. Yeah. <laughs> the the Majidi Danas and that. This, uh, yeah. this uh, was your first match in that, the that, center. That Danas. was the first appointment now. This yes. one was just by, by coincidence. Yes, you know, now somebody. this is your appointment. And this, yeah. this Danas was with us, Akedi. Yeah. And Akedi at that time now, they oh. also had support. Yeah, my, the whole my, of Akedi. My, my word, my word, my <laughs> word, my word. Yeah. Right. And, How uh, did it go? Were you not never? No, 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 no. I said, I want to show these people what, 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 what it do. is all about. Yeah. That what was written in the paper was not just a fluke. Yeah. It is what it is. Yes. Then, came finished and, uh, you know, the late Meshek is the one who scored. Yeah. He was playing as a defender, but he came in from a corner. Meshek, he came in, he added, yeah, Meshek, Meshek yeah. 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 Then he added in and it, 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 it one zero in favor of Dynamos. Oh, another... Uh, commentary, good comment from from the the the, the then people who wrote uh, I don't know who wrote that I think yeah. the slash wires and them they, 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 that uh, <sighs> then there was a final I think it was three weeks down the line that was um, Zimbabwe Saints versus Highlanders at Baba Fields that was the Rothman Shield yeah. and uh, people from Blawayo, the Zimbabwe Saints then and uh, Islanders say we. Don't want to see these referees here in the country. With they, oh. they are not good. We want to no, 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 no. They didn't know me. They oh. said, said you'd rather maybe get a referee, a referee from outside from the country. Outside the country, is it? We didn't know that. The story started coming back after the match, and Felix is the one who phoned me before even Zifa phoned me. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Felix was always going to these offices mm. and says, "You got a match coming." And this is the thing we said, if we do this, we are in. We have arrived. We have arrived in, in, in FIFA. <laughs> Let's just take a break. And we want to hear more about that one. <laughs> this is an interesting, interesting story from Wilfred Mkuna. Don't move away, guys. We're going for a break. When you come back, we want to hear about the final, the first final that Wilfred Mkuna ever refereed. And we also want to get to know a lot of the things that happened when he was the center man in Zimbabwean football and also his escapades in the continent as well. Don't move away, guys. We're just going to go for a break. Nyarazo. Driving us, Nyarazu Group, driving this show. Thank you very much, guys. Stay tuned. We are back in a minute. As Nyarazu, we strive to continuously bring convenience to our clients. Nyarazu Group is proud to introduce Sawi, a new virtual chatbot assistant on WhatsApp. 
With Sawi, you are now able to interact with us from the comfort of your home and can be assisted anytime via WhatsApp. With life assurance products, diaspora products, applying and assessing your policy, payment platforms, claims information and any other queries concerning payments, policy information or products and services. Simply WhatsApp Sawi on plus 263-712-992892 or visit the link showing on the screen to register and start interacting and receiving notifications from Sawi on WhatsApp. Now, join in and experience a new level of convenience 24 hours a day with Sawi. Nyarazo Life Assurance Company, through one of its products, the Scorepack Plan, supports Highlanders Football Club, one of the biggest soccer teams in the country, and other local football clubs. With the Scorepack Plan, not only will you score for you and your family, but for your favorite local PSL soccer team as well. For each premium payment you make, your nominated soccer club will get paid from the Nyarazo Life Assurance's score pack plan. Make sure you get a score pack, support Highlanders, Ipos or Ipos. When you get score pack, you're supporting Highlanders as a family and your own family. Every time you subscribe to score pack, you're supporting your family and Highlanders family. Get score, get score pack, pack today. today. Always support Highlanders football club. Supporting your team has never been this rewarding. Get a score pack policy and support your favorite football team today. back to the show in touch with the legends of driven and powered by the Nyarazo group yes we have Wilfred Mukuna on the show and we are hearing interesting stories here yeah, it's actually getting hot in here now we're getting into the nitty-gritties we want to know about all that happened when he was the center referee you were getting into the uh, your first final yep. in Zimbabwean football and then the Zimbabwean is coming to be the referee. Yeah. How did you handle that? Well, we're looking at a situation that you know Boso as Boso as well, and Chikwata as Chikwata at that particular time. That's 1988. Yes. And, and uh, Chikwata was like... My the, word, the, the, my, the word team, my word, my the, word, my word. But Blaue was... Boso alone. Boso. And <laughs> you see, that was, uh, that was a match, and, uh, you know, I was given Nkatasa as the first uh, linesman, and Martinia as the second... Uh, Martinia, yeah. yeah. And but we, you didn't tell us about Tanmo Martinia. What happened? Did he come back and tell us? Uh, did, you, that, did you get to talk to him before that, we get into this? That's what I told you, that there was more money at uh, the Buzo side there and uh, social football they were calling it that time. So he decided to go to Refrain Mabuza? No, the, it was a final. The final went into extra time. And, uh, <laughs> and it ate in the time you were supposed to come and uh, join. <laughs> So you couldn't leave that where there's a lot of money. And, yeah. You know, that's the story which... Oh, you thought that he, he was going to refer in the morning? Finish it. Finish off our money. Rush, rush. We are papa, papa. Papa. But you got to make that time. Oh, my God. Komaj, what was the punishment? Was he ever... Uh, we don't know. I don't know. Boss. I was a junior then. I didn't want to go into it. I just wrote the report. This is what happened. And oh, okay. what happened there was not my, my baby. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I wanted so, to hear so, about it. So the final... Yeah, so I left, uh, I left uh, 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 Bindura and Felix said, no, no, you're going, it was night. The final was here in Arab. Yeah, no, 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 the final was in Blau, in Blau, in in Blau. Fields, yeah, in and Blau. they said, uh, oh my God. you you got to come and sleep, sl sleep here, because if you come late there, it will become a problem, you might have a car problem, come and sleep here, admire by, my, by his, his, his house. Yes. So it was, it was critical for him as well. Well, this was a making break for us all. I think I'm talking, basically the people who were, uh, uh, you know, earmarked for, for FIFA was myself, Felix, and uh, the late Martin Gede. Yes. To be put in the FIFA. And uh, that was critical. And this was the thing. And 
Just imagine this is my yeah. third game into the Premier League. The third game in the Premier League because I done mm -hmm. that by by that one by you know by, by default by the default, one in my in, yeah. in Kadoma. In Kadoma. And this face appointment was at Tulfaro and it went well. And uh, this is my third game now appointment is from officially from, from Tifa. So you went to sleep by. Yeah, I went there. Yeah, yeah, sure. came to <laughs> No, we, we left there. We yeah. went and watched a match at a uh, thing at uh, Morris Depot. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, to get, uh, you know, the feel of things. And I said, oh, you fell into, you know, you wanted all these things. And then and now we went there and, and I slept by his place. And he drove me to Marimba Shopping Center to meet Katazo. It was Katazo, the one who was driving. Was he was uh, saying he, he was chairman of the referees yeah, association okay, yeah. then, and uh, they would di dictate what they want to do. Say, okay, fine, we'll go with your car. So I got there. We got into the car, and we were going, and went to. We stopped at Gueru. There was a, a referee there, a senior referee who was in Gueru. Um, I think he's late now, uh, Muringai. Mm. And I would hear the ones are sitting in the car. They didn't know me. Yeah. They're the other referees. They didn't know me for one side. Very yeah, few. Yeah, very yeah, few. Yeah, people that was your third match, yeah. And they were say, talking in Katazo. And I, ah, well, what's happening? I says, now, are you going to, to, to enter the car? I says, no. I says, who is going to enter? Martinia says, no. It was all outside the car. Yeah. And my window was slightly open. He says, no, this a young man is there. He's going to, to referee. Yeah. He says, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh. ah. <laughs> Yeah. He was sitting there and I said, my, he say, what is he saying? Munofa. Yeah. And I want to show him what is yeah. going to be. Then it gave me a bit of uh, yeah. uh, sure, sure, right the, 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 the adrenaline, the adrenaline yeah. shot up and I said, I'm going to show them what he's referring. Yeah. I said, fine, quietly went there. And Gumedi there, he was there by Blau, because he was Blau as the first chairman. Mm. And he was worried that if he, we do pre match meeting with this guy, maybe he's nervous. I don't know. They've, they've not seen me refereeing as well. Yeah. So he quickly arranged the pre match meeting there with uh, the, the, the teams. And then when we got to Zifa House there, and Blau says, Oh, no, no, everything was finished. You go to the studio. And fine. But the thing is, I think that's <laughs> what he was a kind of, you know, uh, rattled with. The moment I got there, I said, can I have a toilet? I think you thought maybe I had nerves. Yeah. But we had driven a long journey and I wanted to relieve myself. Not the heavy stuff, but, you know, yeah. I just wanted to leak. Uh, then, then we went to the stadium. When we were getting there, we were getting to Papa Fields. Ah, the people were saying, don't cut us a foot, my dude. Don't cut us a foot, my dude. <laughs> oh, they actually thought in Katas was the center uh, and, because and, they saw and, it. And uh, yeah. as we were going in, there was another guy, the late Nico Sibanda, who wanted to get a lift there so that he could get in there as well. Because it was difficult, because it was full. Mm. The stadium was full. So we got in there and uh, didn't know me. It was they didn't know me. They didn't. Yeah. We got in there and and got dressed. That time there was no lining up. You know, people would just go and warm up and then, and then we go and toss and, you know, start. And we got out of the dressing room and I was holding a flag and uh, Martinho was holding a flag and Kadaz was holding the ball. Just wanted to fool them. Yeah. We got into there and as we got into the stadium, we got into the stadium, I, 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 I went with the flag and put it on the ground there at the center. And, uh, mm. Kadazo and them went to, to, to look for him to, 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 to inspect the, the nets the and that. Yeah. Yeah. And they came. Oh, now people were surprised. Huh? We thought to him, Kadazo was left. Now this is it. I took the ball, I put it there, I tossed it in. Uh, the launcher is the launcher. And, you know, I think that was the captain then on the yeah. other side. Yeah. Ah, that was the serious battle. Oh, I tossed it, and, you know. Game on. But how are you feeling? Because Baba Fields was packed and this is your third match. Uh, but I, I, and seasoned teams, seasoned players, and Baba Fields for that match, Highlanders versus uh, yeah. Zimbabwe Saints, that Blauayo Derby, the rivalry. Calm, 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 as, as, as anything is as cool as a cucumber. Be you right. put it that way. I, I, <laughs> I never feared situation. Let me, yes. let me tell you this. You wanted I, this. I never feared situation. I said, you wanted this. This and that yeah. person who said in Gweru, Muruguno I want, I want sure. him to know that we've arrived. Yeah. yeah. Started game on. I think it was about uh, 15, 20 minutes into the game. Some of 10, 15 minutes, somewhere there. There was an incident, uh, Peter Nkomo and uh, Machingura got involved in the tussle there. And then 
They just used the, their elbows. The people thought maybe there's something is going to happen. I just moved there, just about three meters from there. I said, none of that, stop it. Cause it Before they yeah. knew it, I was at the, at the center calling for the ball to come. Was that was a foul? Yeah. <laughs> because you were a sprinter. No, I went, yeah. no, I went, no, I went. I said, they must see this thing today. Yeah. Yeah. So, bad, game finished, it went into extra time. Felix had a match here, I think the Tornadoes uh, versus something at Zuarezego there. Mm. He finished his game, he rushed to the radio and was listening, yes. I think. Uh, no, I think uh, then Mabika was now commentating, I think. And he was saying, he had that it had gone into extra time. Oh, he was telling me that he was now nervous. Yes. But what but cooled him, but what he cooled him down is that what he was hearing from the commentator says, you know, we have never seen something like this. Oh, blah 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 blah. Yeah. I don't know. I was listening. I was busy with this. That's what he was telling me. Yeah. And he was saying, I was sitting there. You eventually ask him, says, says, come on, Sunny, come on, Sunny, let's do it, let's do it. He was waiting for the 15 minutes and the other 15, the 30 minutes that it will be done. Once it's done, we are in. Yes. And well. Luckily, you know, they were not, ma they were incidents, yes, sir, but I managed them and, uh, you know, and uh, Chawanda, <laughs> coincidentally, whatever it is, he actually need uh, the, the ball into his own net and the, that was that, that was winning the thing, uh, we'll call it 2-1, uh, yeah, it was 1-1 it was one, one in one. the thing, uh, came finished, finished everything done. And we went in to get our thing, our, our medals there. This was a Rothman Shield, yeah. getting the medal yeah. of Baba Phil. And I saw this guy, he ran up, Baba Phil came down, ran up, come. He was looking at me, he went up, he went up. About four times, he was running yeah. up and down. Why? He was coming to look at me and said, look at, the, who, who is this Wait, person? Yeah. yeah. And uh, I think Shifokoi was the secretary there. He was there giving us medals and Gumede, and then we're yeah. done. Then we're driving out of the stadium. We went to 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 Katas and then Matinya. Katas or Matinya? I think he was drink, they, they, they used to drink as well. Yeah. Me, I never took. For a, celebration. Me, I never touched alcohol. The, you know, all my all of my life up till now, I don't no. take. I don't take. I don't okay. take that. Yeah. I don't smoke. So we went there and we got into this other some hotel there. I can't remember which one there. I think it was maybe the, this rainbow one there, sitting there. And people were in coming. Town? Yeah, in town. So you remember? Yeah. Came, yeah, people were coming there and saying, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. That's, who is this man? Who is this man? This man said, oh, he's young, my young brother. But we thought people said, because the Chirwa and the Gumede said, we've, you know, he, uh, he imported the referee. <laughs> <laughs> and it was you. Say, they said he imported yeah. from Zambia. Mm. So you were the Zambia? She says, oh, no, 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 no. I said, oh, this is my young brother. Uh, yeah. He was now boasting what the game is finished. The game is finished, yeah. She says, oh, not, 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 not. Giving him in uh, whiskeys and that, I said, dad. I said, no, I said, sit down. So he took. He, was, he gave me and I gave it to him. Oh, me. yeah. <laughs> But eventually the people caught on and said, ah, this is the one who wants beer, he doesn't drink. Yeah. So they started buying me the cool drinks and that. Then we stayed there for about maybe 45 minutes. Say, ah, Katas was glowing. He says, ah, this is my young man, this is my young brother. I said, I trained him. And, uh, he was impressed. Impressed. Then we came back and, you know, you know what happens with the, with the, with the, with the, with the media. It was a wash. That was 1988. So, so, so with the with, uh, with the game, you said uh, the foul there, Peter Como. Yeah, it wasn't something you were serious. serious yeah. Did you do the back paddling? When, oh. did you, when did you the back paddling? You want to talk about the back paddling? Yeah. When, when did you learn that? Because when I was watching, when I used to watch you uh, refereeing, you know, I should I should say I used to enjoy when I hear that you were the one in the center when or just see. We used to enjoy it. We used to even whistle. I, I think you, you, you remember mm. even the whole stadium used mm. to whistle when you are doing the back paddling, back yeah. shuffling. Where did you learn that from? It was exciting. I no, no, say. no. The, the back paddling was just, uh, I think it was inborn. Let me, it's, it's inborn. Yeah. I didn't like practice as it were. And it, it? it came in the situation where we say that so when the laws were saying that at times you have to, 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 to have eyes at the back. So where incidents happen, usually when you back paddle or back paddle, when the ball had gone to the other half and we were coming back, 
Yeah. Incidents could happen where you, you, you turn your back. You, yeah, most so you most you referees your, use, you most, focus. Yeah, most referees used to run there, giving their back to the ball. So I run a bit, turn around and go back. It excited them. I didn't know that it was going to excite people, <laughs> but it was just just came in, and I thought yeah. you know, maybe this is style I came in, and I, I did know those kind of things. And how uh, do you feel when the stadium is whistling and uh, that, clapping hands for you when you back badly? That was that was yeah, their yeah. story. My story was concentration because <laughs> I used to be seized with a match. But did it psych you up? Yeah, well, when you look at situation that you know, you know it was as well for us as a player that when there's a packed stadium, yeah, that rating rises. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I would say to extend it, it helped. Yeah, and um, you know, finish that and we come back here. Drove Felix actually drove me to to, to Bindura that night. Yeah. This is my friend. My friend me. was in the center of the final. <laughs> he drove me to and came back. He drove me to, to, to Bindura and then he came back. Yeah. In the night, it was, we arrived at about, you know, 12 midnight and he, yeah. he drove me there and came back. And uh, he. Your knew, success was his success. His, that was his success. Yes. And, uh, you know, that was that. And uh, that year is as well. The first year I got the, the referee of the year and that has not happened. That from. Lower division. From lower division straight First into year. Premier League and you get the referee of the, the year. Referee of the year. And at that age, I was the youngest ever that particular time to get the, the referee, of, referee of, of the year. year. And well uh, it, it stood for quite a while until this young man from, from, from Lusabe, Brighton Chimene, yeah. came up and we were the one who initiated him actually. And, uh, you know, eventually he came and broke that, uh, that, record. that record of youngest. But nobody up to now which is standing is uh, they've broken from division where from the lower division straight into Premier League and win the referee. It has not happened. Tell us about the difficult times uh, of a referee. You are in the centre. What do you, what can you say that this is the most difficult time as a centre referee inside the incident that you can actually say, forget the so the bonus out my decision you will referee my one. But what we're saying, people think uh, refereeing is uh, easy. Uh, it's not as easy as yeah. people think. But sometimes it happens, and you know, as a, f a former footballer as well, that some things are inherent. Uh, you, refereeing, you should know how to manage games. Yeah. You should know how to manage people. And, you know, kind of a bit of a psychology is what is happening and the real thing, and trying to make sure that you don't upset things. Yeah. There are sometimes, yes, I'm saying in, in refereeing, you know, there, there are things which I say as players, some, you've got some rowdy players at times. They say things sometimes, you know, yeah. the game is balanced and they say, now if I take action here, it might be a problem. But this guy said it, no, no other person has said it, forget it. Yeah. Let it, let, it, <laughs> let it fly. Yeah, it was happening. That's the truth about it. Yeah. You, you, you need to manage the situation. What about uh, when you, 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 you're, you're in the centre, you're playing at a pegged Rufaro Stadium, Dynamos versus Capes, Dynamos versus Islanders, and then uh, Capes United defender, is the ball hits, hits the thigh, and the whole stadium gets up and says, penalty, and everybody is quiet, and the whole stadium goes and says, penalty, and you are the referee. And do you think, I think you are playing. The decision. Are, I think you were playing then, for Capes then. I think there is a BP final sometime at National Sports Stadium, it went into to, 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 to extra time. replay, yeah, extra the time and yes. replay, yeah. Similar thing happened to, 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 to that. I think it was a ball which went to, was it company or Joe Shamba? I'm not too sure. And people thought it was, it went to his and we went to the chest. Yeah. And people thought maybe it was, uh, oh, then the world stadium goes up. That's their baby. I'm here. I know what is happening. How did you handle this? Yes. I know what it is. Just let's go. Let's, let's go on. Was there, nothing has happened. Stay focused. Nothing has happened. It, it, it has not happened. It has not happened. Then, coincidentally, I, these things, I look at them backwards. And even when we went to the, to the, to the replay, similar things, same players, I think it was Shira Oa doing the, those things happened. And still the same thing that people now had seen on television that, ah, this wasn't that what, what people thought. And... That's how it is, and uh, eventually, uh, uh, 
the game finished and the team which won, which won, I'm not sure, I think it was kept then, they won. How did, you, how, did you, how did you deal with the players like that remonstrate every time you make a decision? He's coming, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, but, 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 but you know, yeah, that is a very important thing that has happened. As I said, I was fearless. And uh, people started to think maybe I used to do karate. <laughs> I just started hearing from, from the people. Yeah. They said, oh, don't play with him. He said, because I meant business. Yeah. Yeah. At, at uh, I think, Baba Fields. It started in the Trufaro Stadium. I sent off uh, the darling of the people then, uh, Eddie, the late Jimato Bagatsere. Mm. I sent him off for retaliating. The Vietnam stand there, I, sent, I gave him a red card there, the stadium went quiet. From there, there was a repetition of saying, ah, this is a no nonsense man, this is a no nonsense man. Yeah. And it happened again that year, I sent off Madinda Thofu. In Baba Fields, after in, in the Melus and Kiwani, I think they had, uh, you know, fracas, yeah. But uh, each other, I sent them off. And uh, they said, hmm. And uh, rumor was in that time that I uh, was doing karate, and uh, they were saying, this is the only person, <laughs> this is the only person who can make the dynamo's wall move. Yeah. Because why I said, move, they were moved. Yeah. And other referees had problems with... They especially struggle, with the, yeah, they struggled. You say 10 years, yeah. they want to stand five years. Yeah, especially with the enemies, they had problems. I, that yeah. I know. And uh, of course, I used to tell players when we go in for... for, for when we go in and uh, we went to, to look at the inspection then, and said, look, your duty is to play this round ball. Yeah. Yeah, and mine is to whistle and take control of the way. Don't get into my area. I won't get into your area. And if you want to test me, you end up sitting with the, with the spectators. Yeah. This is what I used to say, and I, I meant it, and I meant it. Right? And, uh, you know, even a number of times, the people had problems. The, the late Mashingila, was, he was quite argumentative. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the chap was, but I never had a problem with him. Because they feared. They knew, they knew, they knew like what I was, I was dealing <laughs> with. It Maybe it was the rumor of the karate, or whatever. <laughs> I don't know, I don't. But I heard it was being said. Yeah. Okay, there's this uh, talk about referees that they say that runs home decision. Fano time my game, so the ones are not a home decision. Did you, did you have that? Do you have that in the refereeing fraternity that, you know, when you're at Cayman Mortar, it's when it's a 50-50 situation, the decision goes to the home team because it's like home decision. Do you have that? Is it uh, the, 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 to the, the, the talk is there and it's still there. I don't know. I think you would ask the people concerned if they had made a decision of that nature, where, what they felt in, in yeah. them. But me, it was whether it was my relation playing or whatever it is, it didn't mean a, a thing. If it was my friend or person I know, it didn't mean a thing. I was there to make sure that the game is played according to the regulations, according to the laws of the game, and that was that. Mm -hmm. This is what I stood for. And I still stand for that kind of thing. But yes, you see some incidents when you've been watching that, uh, mm, yeah, well, uh, you know, this is not really what we think. But well, there are the people in the middle, how they feel, I don't know. But me, I never had a thing where I gone up and said, this team must do this or this. And I never got intimidation from anybody. Could my decisions, my no, 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 no. Yeah, the Baba Field Stadium and both better. A, an incident where a, a taco in the penalty box is 0 0. This is Highlander at Baba Field Stadium. Willard Kumalo makes a taco in the box, and you are now worried that if I give this penalty, uh, I can go eat a disaster. Then you, 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 you have play on, but deep down, you can actually see that this was a penalty. But in, in, my, in, in, my, in my, my entire refereeing situation, I have never give, not given a decision when it's supposed to be a decision. But minor things, as I was talking about, maybe verbal but things. But these things happen in football, the, in refereeing? They do happen to people, I, I, I think, and I see sometimes when I'm now retired, I, uh, that person maybe hasn't got the, 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 the courage to, 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 to take that decision. Yeah. And as I told you, I sent these uh, illustrious sons of the, those clubs out. I, I, I actually gave them red cards. You know, imagine Katsere then he was playing. Imagine Madinda was playing there. Yeah. And then just another very interesting thing is I went back to Blawa. You know? after that same year, I went back, I think, yeah. after three, three weeks or so. And they were playing again 
Highlanders were playing Zimbabwe Saints. This time it was the league game. League game now, yeah. When I got there, now this time I flew in and I had uh, my linesmen were from Blawayo. And uh, I was coming from Bindura, I flew in, uh, you know, left my car, they flew to, 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 that time it was good times, you know, I, I went there. And the stadium, the moment they saw me, first time I've seen, <laughs> they stood yeah. up, it gave me a standing ovation, the whole really? stadium. Yeah. Yeah, it happened in 88. They respected you. Yeah, they, 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 they. Yeah. you know, a standing ovation, and I've not seen it anywhere, and I've, it, that was what happened. And um, then the fourth game, remember I was saying that after the, the, the final, that's what I was just given now the, 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 the Swaziland gun. Yes, we are, we are about to get, get, yeah. get into it. Now your debut international. Yeah, yeah. at uh, some solo stadium, uh, I gave it my best. And uh, it was a good match. And uh, everybody was happy. And uh, that situation, again, I came to, 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 to the front and uh, I'm saying one other incident which is very interesting and um, after winning the, the, the referee of the 89, I went to do my first, first, first match for the year. It was Rio Tinto, I was playing, I can't, can't remember where playing, uh, Tornados was playing something at, at Faro Stadium. And uh, I wasn't up to my standard. This is what, from what people wow. say. You know, it is a player too. That sometimes the the form does. And you know what happened? Evert Lungu came to me at halftime, and we were going to to to, to the dressing room. Mm -hmm. I said, uh, "Excuse me, Mr. Referee, this is not the Wilfred we know." Yeah. Came to me and said that coolly like yeah. that, and this is the Wilfred Mukuna we know. And I went in there. I started saying, "Look." It gave me a wake-up call. I didn't sit down. I was pacing up and down the, 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 the dressing room. And, and it follows that when I came back, I said, mind change. Maybe it was uh, Barbaras of uh, the referee <laughs> of the air. Oh, the the yeah. of the air, maybe. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So then I went into gear. Yeah. And uh, after the message, yes. This is what we know. This is what we know you are capable of doing. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, some of the incidents which happened, and uh, the some sort of things started, a number of things started happening. I started doing even the first middle match I had internationally was uh, in Botswana. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a Botswana team playing a Madagascar team. And, uh, you know, the match commissioner was from Zambia, and uh, he didn't give me a good mark. But the unfortunate situation, there were people from, <coughs> from CAF who were there. Yeah. And when they went for a meeting, because they would choose from the reports they get. Yeah. The other guys were saying, no, no, no. But the other guy said, no, 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 I saw somebody. At uh, this match, they took up the file and said, oh, but oh, look, look at the score there. It says, never. Never, that's not possible. It's not possible. Yeah. I'm being told what she was in the committee. Yeah. No, and she was said it's not possible for this young man to do that. Let's give him a game. And Let's send you. senior commissioners. To watch him. Yeah. I was given a committee member. That was then the first time it ever used to happen to say, just a year you get a direct appointment. I got the direct appointment. Yeah. And I went to, that was Zambia playing some team, it was, yeah, some other team it was playing there. No, it was playing Angola. He gave me that, and with that um, um, uh, commissioner from the, 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 the committee, my word, how did it come? You are saying? Nine and a half out of ten. And that's what opened the things to international. And that guy was suspended, the commission. Oh. He used to stay yeah. in Livingstone in Zambia. He was suspended by CAF. Yeah. That is uh, that is the story which is there, black and white, and uh, you got suspended because of that, because of giving that. wrong information. Yeah. And uh, I would say lucky that these people were there and they, 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 they saw what was happening. So the doors to international football yeah. opened. And it happened twice in my life. 
And it happened again when we were at the tournament, uh, all Africa games. Some people wanted to maneuver things, maybe wanted to eliminate a competition. I don't know. And this what is happened? live, even if you ask Felix. What uh, happened? They said, the final was here, the, 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 the AFCON was here. I mean, the, the Africa, Africa Games were, the Africa Games was the here. The 1995 one. Okay. So, somebody came to me from the reference committee of, of CAF and said, ah, we've done, we've finished everything. No, 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 there's no change of anything. The second and final referees have been appointed and were given. And there was the fourth official the, the day before FedEx was in the middle at the Faro Stadium. And uh, at halftime, his uh, guy from uh, Botswana, he was in the, in the, in the committee of, 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 of CAF. Uh, that was his name again. Um, you know, uh, he came in and said, look, everybody come in. We were there, we went in and says, yes, we were there. We were given appointments of um, tomorrow's games. That is going to change. Wilfred, you are taking the, fourth, the, the third and fourth. I couldn't go on the, on the, on the, on the final because the final were involved uh, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe, yeah. yeah. <coughs> so the guy who was supposed to be in the middle was now put in a... Uh, uh, in your place. Yeah. Then we left, that's it. When we were going, this other member from the uh, committee was from Ethiopia. He mm. uh, was called Tesfai. He said, Felix, he knew Felix, we uh, were close, I don't know why the men, and you and Martin, Wilfred, want to see you. Martin had retired then. We went to, to, to Monomotaba, that's where they were staying. And we went into the room and said, you, meaning me, you must, I think the God you, you pray to is a, is a true God. You must thank God that, you know, you, this is what has happened, that you've been given this. Because I think eventually people said, no, 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 let's see him. All of us, we are here, let's see. What had happened? He was, he was just saying maybe he's not doing well. Then I went to the stadium there, the, the, the third and fourth. It was uh, Nigeria, we were playing um, Mali. I think it's a mistake. In, uh, no, it's, uh, Nigeria, <coughs> Guinea. Nigeria, Guinea, yes. Nigeria, Guinea. He finished, finished everything. That guy uh, who came in, who we called to, to Faro Stadium, he came past my and he just winged an eye. And that was the end of the story. Same People were that. convinced that that was done. <laughs> so these are things which happened. We could take the whole day to do things. There's a number of things again. In 1990, I went and uh, did five consecutive games of Dynamos including an international friendly here because there were problems with Dynamo's uh, the, the, the games. And I did consecutive Blau Ayo here. Yeah, and in 1990, the, yeah. And I, the order. Uh, yeah, and I, 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 <laughs> that's the year I won the second uh, you know, referee of the year as well. So this is the situation roughly, but you don't need um, a lot of time to, to pick everything. Yeah, there, 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 there's, a lot, there's a lot to talk about. In your, in your entire career, who do you think uh, is the footballer that gave you a hard time? You know, with, uh, Pano, whenever I'm playing, he gives me a lot of problems. Remonstrating, makes fouls, makes my life difficult. Who are the most difficult player? I didn't have any difficult player because I never had difficulty with players. And yeah. up to now, I never had an abandoned match and I never had a scar from football. Yeah. So, <laughs> you see, I, I never had a, to be honest with you, God is yeah. my witness. I never had a difficult situation because I didn't see anything. I, I dealt with whatever came the way. Yeah. Yeah, you could have these few things there, people coming, but they knew the moment I moved back and stood, you would not see anybody within five meters coming nearer where they knew what would come from there. And so, you know, that's the most memorable? Uh, the number the of game games. game that you can actually say, this is my most. Yeah, you can give us a number, a number of them. Yeah, well, there's one when uh, Zambia played uh, Gabon after the incident. That was a high tense game in the situation of CAF. Oh yeah, because the plane had... Yes, and that they, they, they accused each other, and yeah. that they even had the extent of trying to give us bodyguards when we said that we don't want bodyguards. And the entire match, there was a helicopter 
circling the stadium that in yeah. case happens, they just want to pick us up. Yeah. At, at one stage, they wanted us to take us to the stadium by helicopter when there was razor wire all over. The, yeah, and there was another very, very good match in uh, Reunion. It was a club match there. When I went there, that after the match, we were showered with confetti. Yeah. And uh, the editorial, again, I still got that paper there. Yes. And the, sorry, uh, the whole back page was full of praise for the referee. Yeah. I was there with uh, Brighton Zamiri and um, Jonathan Chatizimba, and we've got those. And uh, quite a number of the way time would have looked at those, but those, I would say, they will stand out as some of the, the good matches uh, that we would say off, offhand. And, um, you know, a number of others here, and uh, even Division One, they used to call me to firefight where there's a problem in Division One. They yeah. know that if you ask the the, the late Madara and na, Banya na and na they were leading those mm. things. If there was a problem in Division One, they used to call me and to the most, deal with the things. The most difficult match that you can say, ah, this match, ah, this one, this match was tense. It was hot, but you know what? I just went in there, but I it was d d d d d match. difficult. You say difficult is what difficult in the eyes of the people who were not involved. In me, I said, to be honest with you, God yeah. is my witness. There was nothing difficult. There was no, it was challenging, yes, but yeah. but never difficult in the sense that I would say I will cross the bridge when they come. There's another game when they had a problem, Dynamos and Highlanders here, and they were going to Boba Fields. Yeah. That was another very serious situation, and even the players were all grouped together. We traveled in the same uh, plane, yeah. going there, and Fanul came to me and said, Dad, we don't know. Look at the players. They all <laughs> say, we don't know what our, our, our thing, our, our supporters did. We are, we are worried. And we had the three in Jovus there playing. Yeah. And f five minutes into, uh, ten minutes into the game, uh, Peter came out on the right. Offside, according to the assistant, which was a, a blower or uh, 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 assistant referee, yeah. there was a knife which was thrown from the stands to missed the, the late Chirape. And I just went by and picked the knife and gave it to the policeman. And I said, let's go, uh, uh, Seb. Let's get on. Let's get on. Let's go on with the way. I'll tell you, <laughs> in, 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 in 15 minutes, the stadium was quiet. Yeah. Then I was lost 5-2. And uh, Sandy came to me and says, that was very good refereeing. Yeah. And uh, Chapo went in the plane and, uh, and, uh, I, and uh, Beef said, Mdara, what about you? What And we were lucky we would have uh, lost with a number of, uh, what the, what the arenders were playing like uh, possessed devils. Which team did you support? Sorry? Which team did you support? I support uh, the, 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 the referees. You don't, you don't have a team that you support? Growing up, football, the team that you supported? Uh, the thing I support is uh, good, good players. <laughs> I look at good players from different teams. And, and, uh, I, think, I, think, I think maybe you sense the question that I was going to come after that. <laughs> because I was going to ask, yeah. how did you handle the matches of the team that you used to support? When I, told, when I tell you, when I, 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 I will reiterate this situation, yeah. I said, if you get seized with the game, yeah. I said, whether it's a friend or it's a, do the right thing. Do the right which, thing. Which yeah. is yeah. required. What does football want? Football want fairness, and fairness, fairness. they must get. All right. Yeah, and you know, I, 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 don't, I don't pull punches where they need to be. I, I, I deal with this better as it is. In, your, in all your, your refereeing uh, years, watching football, you'll be watching also while you are, while yeah. you are the referee as well. Yeah. Uh, then you got, you, you got to, to, be, to be watching as a spectator if you are not uh, yeah. on duty on that yeah. day. Yeah. Who do you think, give me five of the best players that you have seen, you have watched playing football in Zimbabwe uh, in your time? There, there are a lot of them. You are, you are, you are, you are one of them. <laughs> you, the, the Tauros, you are the late Mandigoras. Okay. When I'm talking about these people, I'm talking about the people I thought were kind of gentlemen, and they are more than the five, you know. And uh, you know, okay. you're looking yeah, at, okay. you know, T -T -Tito pa the you know, yes. Tito Packet there in, uh, yes. in, in, in Highlanders. Uh, they were good thing, and even uh, Titus Majola. Yes. They were gentlemen of the game, as far as I'm concerned. Maybe they respected me. I don't know. You got the Rambos. You got. Even Willard Kumar, people say he was a problem, but he was never a problem to me. Yeah, yeah, they they were good players. There were quite a oh, number so of good players. For you, it was more like uh, gentlemen, gentlemen of people the who Not play football. People yes. who play football. 
uh, in character and yes, in, oh. in the game itself. Okay. Yeah, all these people I'm talking about, they are somewhere very good players, oh, yes. but uh, gentlemen at the same time. Oh, that's good. So you, then you retired. When, yes. when, 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 why did you decide to retire? I retired when was that time it was, uh, it was the kind of mandatory that you get to a certain age, you retire from uh, FIFA, yeah. but you can carry on locally. But uh, what was the, the use of getting it, uh, carrying on locally? Maybe you end up, uh, you know, uh, spoiling what you have met. Yeah. I, I thought I had made a good name and, uh, and, I, and I left my footprint on the, on, the, on the game. So better leave when it's still good. Can you get to be the commissioner? Yeah, we get commissioning, we're doing, you know, internationals and that. And the committee? Yeah, well, yes, and we got involved in those things and, uh, you know, and uh, instruction at CAF level, at FIFA and that. So that's a number of things. So what are you doing now in terms of uh, reference? Yeah, well, you know, instruction and commissioning. You from CAF for CAF, for ZIFA, for FIFA? No, I'm, I'm on, on the CAF, I'm not there now, and, uh, but um, now with ZIFA, we're doing that. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not uh, very, very young, as it were. I'm a yeah. young old man. <laughs> then they, don't let the, 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 the looks fool you, but, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> because you don't drink, you, you exercise. Uh, I should say, then it, it it keeps you it keeps you young. Yes. Any any message to the young upcoming referees that you might want to give? I say get focused, concentrate, and get the passion for them. Don't get in a situation where you don't have passion for. Yeah. And keep yourself fit. Keep yourself healthy. Yeah. That's very important. Ah, thank you very much. That was quite interesting, interesting story indeed. We really enjoyed all these stories that you talked about. But tell us, you don't drink. You said you don't drink. Yep. So when you have a good game like that, when you had a good game, this is like uh, something uh, that, you, that, that I just want to ask at the end. What do you do when you are celebrating? What did you used to do? Let's say you're in Tanzania and you had a good game. Did you used to go out, have fun, or stay in the hotel? What did you used to do? I never used to go out a lot. And, uh, you know, the only celebration, the drink I trust most is tea and water. Yeah. Tea and water. He's a healthy man. Thank you very much. for coming. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. Guys, we had Wilfred Mukuna on the show. It was such an interesting show. I really enjoy it. I don't know about you guys, but if you still have other questions that you want to ask Mr. Wilfred Mukuna, please just type in, uh, send your questions in. Then you can also respond those, uh, to those questions in the comments, uh, comments boxes as well. But for now, guys, we have run out of time. In touch with the legend, this is your favorite show, Nyarazo Group driving the show. Thank you very much. Let's meet again next week when we bring you another legend to the show. But for now, we are out of here, guys. See you next week. Cheers.